My name is Theodora Barra. I'm a French artist. I have uh, an installation, photography, sculpture and film practice. Mainly I think I'm focusing on figure of modernity. I'm interested in like analyzing places and try to reveal how politics and geopolitics uh, shape them. I try to maybe focus on little details and make a, like a more vast uh, reflection on, on them. For now, I've been focusing on mainly on Europe, especially France. I've done a few works uh, in the US and the relation between New York City and New Jersey. And now I have my next project is basically on the Southwest. I've never been to Asia ever, because the situation here is way much better than what is it in France. So just like a, a break from the, <laughs> for the French atmosphere that is kind of heavy. When I will be back, I'm supposed to have an exhibition, but I'm not even sure it's gonna be, it's gonna happen. The, the main reference um, is a book called uh, American Technological Sublime from uh, David Nye, Modern Construction in the early uh, US until uh, quite a contemporary uh, moment. Uh, to prepare the residency, I always, uh, also have been uh, reading Akbar Abbas' Hong Kong and uh, A Mountain of Light from Austin Coates uh, in order to really understand the context. And also I've been reading a lot of sci-fi. Um, uh, and also I discover um, Dark Fluid from Angela Su, and it's very great. Also watching a lot of movies uh, to prepare it, like, I, that's usually what I do. So a lot of sci-fi taking place in Hong Kong or inspired by Hong Kong. So of course, Blade Runner, Ghost in the Shell. Also a TV show called The Expense. So I've been interested in two places. Uh, first is uh, a Plezao, where they used to have a um, Hong Kong electric power plant before it was moved to Lama Island. And now there is a, like a residential area, a residential complex called uh, South Horizon. And there is a very interesting place uh, when you're in the middle of it, uh, like there is a plaza, and you can see the tree um, chimney of Lama Island power plant. The dynamic between those two is very interesting. And the, the fact that you also have a, an old HK electric building, I don't know if it's still working, but it's there in the middle of the South Horizon complex. And there is another one. Um, we went with Video Taj uh, team uh, to see Castle Peak and Power Plant and Tea Parks. We stopped at Twin Moon and then took a cab uh, into the Power Plant and then try to go by foot to, to Tea Park. In Tea Park it was very interesting because it's a, a self-sustaining uh, area. They're like electric um, recycling. It made me think about like a spaceship. The dynamic was completely different from an industrial um, building on area. It was something very clean and like almost peaceful. And also we were completely at north so we could see Shenzhen in the horizon. In, in one afternoon I had like a very vast view of uh, Hong Kong atmosphere and new territory. What interests me a lot is that the fact that there are not decoration, there is no ornament. Everything that is here is pure function. Something very, very interesting um, in the shape that it gives. And also, it's those architecture are not uh, really related to human scale. They're create, they're shaped by the um, the purpose they have. Another civilization architecture or something more sci-fi. I found something very, very specific is first the substation. I never saw them or I think I never pay attention to them. But here they are very, very interesting. Basically in France, they would just be a cube of concrete. But here there are like bunkers, very, very interesting shapes. And plus they're recovered with tiles. There is tiles everywhere. And actually I never saw building with tiles. It's very specific Hong Kong stuff. I have uh, my practice-based PhD 
project. So this project uh, is like installation, films and photography. Imprint of the nuclear research uh, in the Four Corners area. It's in southwest of the US. At the place of the Utah, the Colorado, Arizona and New Mexico. This is a place where you can find remains of the Manhattan Project, the project that built the first um, atomic bomb. This is also an area where there is a lot of land art. An analyze of this of the um, of the desert as the ultimate proving ground, since we find artists, but also scientific, industrial, and um, military. How the proving ground become a sacrifice zone? since it's a completely wasted area.